know, do you know who Akira the Dawn is? Of course, he's amazing. I only desire the approval of a relatively small number of people who I respect. If they said to me, I think you're totally wrong on this, Douglas, then I'd listen. But when it's people who don't want me to do well, then of course they don't listen to me. It's one of the tools we all have to hone in our lives, to work out who wants us to do well, who wishes us well, and to listen to them, even if they're critical of us, and they will be at times, and to separate out those people from people who just, of course they don't want you to do well. You know, hate you, hate everything about you, whatever. But I don't have much sympathy with public figures who say, I can't say what I think, I can't speak up, and all this sort of thing. If you're not going to now, when are you going to? If you're not going to in this life, what life are you expecting? Come where you'll do it. The person who doesn't stand with the mob, the person who doesn't go along with the mob, the person who refuses to walk with the crowd will feel better. The person who doesn't stand with the mob, the person who doesn't go along with the mob will achieve more in their lives, whatever that is. Because they will have self respect I'm comfortable, as comfortable as you can be in the end times as everything's burning down and there's plagues of locusts coming our way. And I have the satisfaction of knowing that I'm not lying. But the problem with going along is that it demoralizes you. It makes you a smaller person inside. You will be demoralized because you'll know that you shouldn't have done that. And at some level, you will think badly of yourself for having done it. You'll feel regretful, you'll feel cowardly, and it will affect your life in other ways. And the opposite is also true. The person who doesn't stand with the mob, the person who doesn't go along with the mob, the person who refuses to walk with the crowd, will feel better. The person who doesn't stand with the mob, the person who doesn't go along with the mob, will achieve more in their lives, whatever that is because they will have self-respect. That's what totalitarian movements across history always knew, was that you grind people down and make them agree to lies because you will then be able to make them do anything. A Václav Havel, great late Czech leader, cites the example of a greengrocer in Prague in the communist era in Eastern Europe who has to put up in his window, like everyone else, the notice that says, workers of the world unite. And it's sent by party headquarters to all green growth. And you all have to hang it. Václav Havel says a number of things happen from this. The first thing is that, of course, that the green grocer is showing to everyone that he is a party lawyer, so he wouldn't be able to operate as a business if he didn't do this thing. But it also hangs there every day as a sign of his subjugation. It's a little thing, but it hangs there as a sign of and it reminds him that he's not the man he could be. You think you're doing a little thing, but you're not. You are diminishing your soul by doing this. Because you know that you could be something more than the person who just has to hang whatever party headquarters tells you to hang this week. The person who doesn't stand with the mob, the person who doesn't go along with the mob, the person who refuses to walk with the crowd, will feel better.